Hi, uh, my name is Chris, and this tutorial is how to help you get started uh, through Apeworks. So, one of the links that we have provided is our Apeworks.io, and it's our main website. So, from here, we're going to get started. So, on this website, on the top right, we have a button that says Get Started. We want to click on that, and it should take us directly to our Quick Start Guide. And based off our Quick Start Guide, there are a couple of requirements as to use our project. One of them is to have a Linux based uh, operating system, so either Linux or Mac OS, and then have a Python 3.7 or later interpreter. As for me, I am using a uh, WSL Windows subsystem for Linux, and that allows me to use my Windows laptop or PC to uh, run a Linux based operating system to play with our uh, project. So, if you don't know what that is, you go ahead and click on the link that's in our quick start and follow Microsoft tutorial on how to get started and install WSL. So and the very first thing that we're going to do is open up our WSL. And the very first thing I did was make a directory called demo just to get us started on here. So we're here and uh, directory we are is just home Chris demo. And so we're going to do everything on here. And the very first thing that the quick start tells us to do is check our Python. So we're going to do that. Check our Python. Looks like we have 3.8, which is great. And then the next thing we want to do is create a virtual environment. It's important. Uh, it's, it, it's a suggestion, but it's all, I think it's pretty important because with a virtual environment, you're allowed to create, modify, install, delete, or whatever you want in this environment without actually modifying your local computer. So the very first thing we're going to do is make sure that we can create it. Python 3 or anything 3.7 or higher should be able to have VENV, which is the way to uh, make a virtual environment. And if you don't know how to do that, you can click on these two links and choose which way you want to create a virtual environment. I am going to use VENV. And uh, you just follow the pip install to get there. And so based off of this, we're going to make it. So if you copy that, command it's python 3 dash m v e n v path to your environment and i want to call this folder where we're going to keep our virtual environment it works just to call it the virtual environment we want so it's going to take a second and once we create it we're going to have it in our directory and if we were to look into the directory of it works it has the files there that are required to make a virtual environment and so if we were to come out and do the next command it would be source your virtual environment folder and you want to activate it. Activating it will allow you to be in the virtual environment and do whatever you need. So we're going to do that. Just like that. And now you can tell that you have it by having the Apeworks logo in the back right here. And you can also check if you have, um, if you're in the right environment, virtual environment, by doing typing which Python. And it'll tell you, you are here. Great, last we spoke, we were in our virtual environment. So just to be clear, we are right here. And what I told you to do earlier was check which Python you are, because in my virtual environment, I actually don't have Python installed. And so the only way I can access a Python interpreter is through my virtual environment. So if I was to deactivate it, see the Apeworks uh, logo is not going to be right over here. So if I was to type in which Python again, it wouldn't be there. So then that's exactly what we're looking for. So now we're back in our virtual environment and we're going to install a so the next part we're going to do is pick which way we're going to install the ape, which is either via pip, setup tools, docker, or however you feel comfortable with. The easiest way is to pip install it. So we're going to just do these first two commands. Uh, funny, uh, cool tip about um, with Python is that you could do multiple commands at the same time if you copy it. So what we're going to do is just copy both, right click, and press enter. And the first one says pip install dash u pip. So we're upgrading pip and making sure that it's the latest. And then we're going to press enter to install uh, pip install e8. And this will take a minute or two. And that's uh, what we're looking for. Okay. 
then you'll be like, okay, so now you can check that Ape is installed by. Uh, yes. You can confirm that it's installed by maybe just like, and I'm just gonna fire up the console. Like, exactly. And so. Then, and then just fire up the console. It's good. All right, guys, thanks. We're excited. Yeah, so I'm not gonna talk here because it's just still downloading and installing. This is, we're gonna just cut. Okay, looks like it's finished installing. We're checking to make sure that there are no uh, errors with this by just typing the word eight. Just like that. So we're here and we're gonna type in eight. When we type in eight, we should get a console list of commands we wanna play with. And this is how we're gonna check it. And as of right now, we're on eight version. 0.1.5, great, and that is the latest version. And so you see all these commands and uh, you can try maybe Ape console to make sure that it works. This is our interpreter and um, play with it. There you go, it works, it's on. So thank you so much. Have a good day and we'll see you on the next tutorial.